Okay, there it is. Remember how I said before version 1? I knew it. So here's version 2. I think this is going to be a little more solid. That plate will go in here. Those vents will be deleted. And who knows, I might make a trim ring for this thing. Probably will. Match it up with the rest of it. But yeah, that came out pretty good. All that stuff is going to work out well. Okay, here's version 2 of the tablet. I'm going to have a finger hole here. Got my adapter plugged in this time. And I got the material. Uh, covering the tablet so now when I pull that out of there it'll already be covered and then I'll just put my ring over the top of it so let's see how that turns out there is the cradle the docking station for the tablet And I've, uh, you know, hacked apart what I had. And now I'm uh, building that up, giving myself kind of a base to start fiberglass and the rest of this thing in. It's going to sit in there like that. So I need to build up fiberglass behind that. So I'll go right on top of that cardboard, and bond it to the rest of this, and then it'll be fine. It's not a structural piece. It'll be plenty strong. Build this up along here. I might have to do this a couple different pores on the sides. That's a lot of gap to fill in. But I'll go ahead and fill it in just to make it more solid. And then up top I got a piece of cardboard slipped down in there. And I'll probably take some of that fabric and drape it back over this existing shape here. Make that flat across. So I'll just bring that down over the top of that. Blend it in on the side here. So we'll see. I think that's what will happen. And that docking station works pretty good. Slides right in there. And I left some overhang so it kind of clips itself in. And if that's not good enough, I can put something in between this plate. You know, a piece of rubber or something that sticks out a bit. So when that tablet goes in, it'll hold it down underneath a rubber tab. And... Other than that, I'm about ready to put the fabric up here. Start getting some glass on this thing. I'll cut this out when I'm done. For that stuff. So there's my first pour. Probably be good enough. Steps on there pretty thick. And then whatever I need to do, I can just build up with Bondo. A lot of that will be ground off. And that will be ground down flat. So that plate will go on here. Now I'll just cut out where I need to cut out. For those controls to go in there. Grind that up here. Bring that out some. Bring it out some where that little finger notch is going to be. And... You know, fill this in so it comes back symmetrical. And then this will be ground off. That will be stuck underneath. And this cloth will come off. And I'll blend that off into the rest of the dash. So here we go. I'm going to do some grinding. Get that ground off flat. Here we go.
there's the that's what it looks like after a grinder got to it got that carved out pretty good with that plate sitting on there you know and I'll add bondo up here finish off these edges same thing here and I'll make a nice little ring and go around that also <clears throat> but yeah it's time to put bondo on that thing and be done with it I'll take it down to 80 grit and that'll be good enough because then it'll just be covered with glue and you know vinyl or whatever I put on there but yeah that thing's done might have to fine tune the cradle a little bit more <clears throat> and then flip it over and take care of any holes that I bored in it that I don't want I want to kind of seal that off so hot air isn't trying to blow through you know all the cracks and edges of all the switches and stuff so yeah time to sling some bondo knock that down real quick be done you can see this starting to take shape been hacking it down with the mud hog and just getting the initial shape it'll show some low spots so you know I'll put on another thin coat after I'm done whacking it down and I'll make sure I get an even distance around this edge and then I'll split the difference with this uh, trim ring and then I'll put the ring on here trace around the edge and make sure I get an even distance around that ring all the way around the edge I'll do that by hand probably and uh, finish up this pocket get the edges squared off in here you know and then once I get the perpendicular angles you know then I'll round off all the edges get in, get the same bend on all the edges same radius anyway it's getting there and there it is it's pretty much done I'm not worried about those pinholes and that got that set up pretty good for the all came out pretty good the only challenge now is getting it wrapped with some kind of material so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda of put it together um, you know get this carved out better get the ring screw it on screw it in place and um, get the ISIS in there run the wires and there's my trim ring for the ISIS I'm not sure I'm how I'm going to attach that yet but there's not really enough room to drive a screw through there but it'll be okay we'll figure that out there's my uh, all my controls the little trim ring I made docking station this is hooked up through Wi-Fi right now from my house and I got kinda crappy internet out here but I figured out how to you know hotspot from my cell phone tether it through Bluetooth and that kinda stuff so it'll be good out on the road 
So yeah, now I'm gonna start running wires. It turned out pretty good though. I think I'll make this knob black. Get it looking the same as the other. Yeah, it's gonna look cool though. It'd be good enough. I was afraid of uh, what that was gonna end up looking like. <clears throat> what I was gonna do, I still gotta worry about wrapping that with fabric, or vinyl somehow. But uh, anyway, we'll see what happens. Look at that there, huh? Pretty cool. Starting to come together. I had no idea that's what it was going to look like. The interior, interior is something I've never even thought about. So, it's kind of weird how when I do this stuff, um, <clears throat> I really don't have a end result in my head. I kind of just do what needs to be done and it ends up kind of flowing together. So I think it's going to look pretty damn cool. And then this trim ring, let's see, where is that thing? gonna sit on there so that's gonna look so cool I'm gonna have to do something different here extend that pocket just a little bit more so when I pull up the e-brake uh, hits right here so I'll change that a little bit more but I'm getting excited, so I'm going to start getting um, things set a little bit more in their exact position and dial in the wiring, um, you know, for the final time at this point. Yeah, look at that going to be freaking nice. Wow. Pretty cool. Oh boy. Can't wait. Alrighty. Trying to make this all quick disconnect type thing so I can you know disconnect and take it apart service it so I've got all these wires broke down into these nine pin connectors and then this one is just a telephone cord coupler And these wires will get hooked up to these switches. I got to get a different switch. I need to. Uh, I got two wires that need to be cut for the ISIS screen instead of just one. So I got to get a different switch there. Then this comes off the tablet into this thing for the HDMI and that will get some 5 volt power into here and then here's the harness that will uh, plug into various modules for the radar detector stereo power um, the ISIS system so that'll be cool I gotta get one more connector um, 
for that group of wires so there'll be three total so I'm going to put this up on there provide an access hole and decide how I want to mount this harness um, to be able to disconnect it plug it in tuck all that in there so so far so good and there's my quick disconnect for the console HDMI 5 volt power the 9 pin connectors uh, traction control so yeah a lot of little stuff tidied up in the couple of small disconnects so that's going to be cool and then I got some wiring to do underneath still there's my 5 volt uh, 12 volt to 5 volt converter so I'll hook that up to power and the ISIS wires launch control button so it's getting there that turned out pretty cool though I'm happy with that <laughs>